Welcome back guys, I'm Gone in 60 if you're new to the channel. And today we're gonna do uh, a video on tire dressing. If you're using that old school silicone greasy tire dressing that slings all over your paint, you're doing it wrong. I'm gonna show you why. All right guys, it's super windy, sorry about that. Uh, but this is the dirt and grime that's coming off these brand new tires. Um, this one's still wet up here, but you can see what comes off of it. And I'm using the Detailers Pro Tire Cleaner and Restore. So let me show you what it looks like. It looks like coffee is coming off of the off of the tires. And like I said, these are brand new tires. They've never had armor all on them, which uh, or any other kind of tire protectant. But you can see that that's just nasty grime coming off of them. And you have to clean them before you can actually put the sealer on there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use the cleaner, scrub that in, and when you're done, it'll it'll make white white foam instead of you won't see any brown brown residue on there anymore. So I'm gonna do this to all four tires. And the last thing you do is you just rinse it off. You can see all that all that brown stuff coming off the tires, it's nasty. Or the next thing you do, shall I say. So remember, these tires have never been off-road. And they're pretty much brand new. Uh, they probably have about eight or 900 miles on them. Okay, so I'm going to let the uh, tires... Uh, I'm going to let them dry off in the sunlight. And then I'm going to do the next step, which is going to be the... Uh, it's going to be the tire coating. And this is a... This is a, uh, a, a dry-to-the-touch tire coating. Works very well. Lasts for several months. And... Uh, I hate using any of the oily, uh, greasy products that sling off onto the paint and uh, just just horrible. So I found this stuff and uh, it's what a lot of the detailing pros use. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive, but there's other, there's other kinds that you can get now. Um, and I'm gonna put that on there and I'll show you, show you what it looks like. All right, I decided to go ahead and uh, pull the four door out and uh, you know, get these tires cleaned while I'm waiting for the uh, two-door to dry so now uh, this four-door the four-door has been out off-roading several times uh, once again there hasn't been any tire dressing put on it uh, this is just gonna be uh, this is just gonna be normal grime on the tires that's gonna come off but I expect it's gonna be a lot more than uh, the two-door these tires have been on the truck for about a year Soak it down and you can see it turning brown already. That's nasty. And same thing, I'm gonna get the brush out and I'm gonna scrub these down one at a time. But you can see everything coming off. That's what you wanna see. Once again, I'm gonna rinse everything off. You can see all the nasty stuff coming off. That's just dirt and grime. Let that one dry and we'll do the other three. All right, so while we're waiting for the tires to dry on the four door, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the two door and we're gonna apply the actual tire shine protectant. And this is the magic in the bottle. This is the tire coating and we're gonna put this on. Um, I'm gonna use a uh, just an applicator like this. Uh, they say if you, uh, they say if you, you know, for lettering and stuff like that, you can use a brush to make sure it gets there. We'll see if I need that. But I'm going to go ahead and do all four tires. Uh, you usually uh, do a coating and let it sit for 15 minutes and then do another coating and that'll be all you need. And this will last for months. All right, so all four tires uh, have been done uh, on the first coating. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry for 15 minutes and come back and do the second coat. Okay, and this is what the tire looks like after one coat. Now, this is just one coat. Uh, they recommend you do at least two coats. Looks pretty good. But what I did was... I went ahead and, okay, and this is this is an uncoated tire, but I put some painter's tape right here just so you could see the difference. Look at that, that's the difference with just one coat, and this is dry to the touch, okay? It does not come off on your finger, it is not smearing. So this stuff is pretty good. 
Um, so I, I've used it before. Um, I'll say it is more difficult on an all-terrain tire because of these, these you know, valleys and hills right here, which I'm gonna fix that with a brush, but uh, it'll take a little bit more time, but this stuff works great. And uh, now I'm gonna do the second coat and I'll come back and show you guys what it looked like. Okay guys, we're done. This is two coats that I've been applied to it. And uh, let me see, this front tire is in the sunlight. So let me see if I can get a little bit of shine on there for you. And uh, I've also driven about 20 miles on it and you know, it doesn't crack, doesn't crack the gloss. Um, and it's not oily, it's dry to the touch. So it's not gonna attract dust and dirt like some of these uh, silicon, these wet and you know, you know, the silicon based uh, applications will. So, uh, and then once again, this is, I'm good for probably at least four months of going through car washes and stuff like that and, uh, rain, any other, uh, you know, any other different, uh, you know, situations, but, uh, we are done. Let me know what you think about this product. And here's another sneak peek. I bought some Sasquatch fender flares from, uh, one of the managers that did a fender delete. So I'll have, uh, I'm going to install these on one of the Broncos. I'll have a video coming up on that.